The next three speakers that you will hear for two minutes, um, but in particular I want to acknowledge my dear friend from Oakland who represents another sister city port, the Port of Oakland, the gentlewoman from California, Ms. Lee. The gentlewoman is recognized from California. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, first, let me thank the gentlelady from Los Angeles for her leadership and for giving me the opportunity to speak for a few minutes on behalf of this resolution, HRES 822, recognizing the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Port of Los Angeles. The Port of Los Angeles, and we're hearing this over and over and over again, and many of us who represent ports uh, have known this for a long time, but it has a long and distinguished history as a trading hub in California. Today, uh, the fifth largest container complex in the entire world, along with the Port of Long Beach, uh, the cargo that comes through the port reaches every congressional district throughout the country. The Port of Los Angeles is an economic engine, not just for Los Angeles, but for the region, for our entire state, and our entire country. The economic benefits that it provides to the nation are impossible to measure, but assuredly uh, are immense, just as is the Port of Oakland uh, located in my congressional district. So I want to commend my colleague from Los Angeles, California, our newest uh, member from California for introducing this resolution. I can think of no, no member who has come to Congress who has hit the ground running uh, who has done the hard work and who has been able to bring forth a resolution such as this uh, as Congresswoman Richardson. She recognizes the uh, economic opportunities, the job creation aspects, the trade benefits of the Port of Los Angeles. So I salute you, Congresswoman Richardson, from the Port of Oakland to the Port of Los Angeles. Happy anniversary. Thank you, and I yield my time. Gentlewoman.